Hello everyone. Welcome to our video. The topic of our video is use of MAR and MDR in memory access. We are the students of Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune. We are Group J12. Team members of our group are Shalvik Shirsagar, Urvik Shirsagar, Kshitish Gedam, Ravina Kubde and Ayush Kude. So, without a further ado, let's get started. Content of the video is Introduction, What is MAR and MDR, Memory Read Operation and Memory Write Operation. What is computer memory? Computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. Memory access is an important aspect of computer as it involves data transfer between CPU and main memory. What is MAR? In a computer, the memory address register, that is MAR, is the CPU register that either stores the memory address from which data will be fetched to the CPU register or the address to which data will be sent and stored via system bus. In simpler words, this register is used to access data and instructions from memory during the execution phase of instruction. MAR holds the memory location of data that needs to be accessed. Let's now understand what is MDR. A memory buffer register, that is MBR, or Memory data register, that is MDR, is the register in a computer's CPU that stores the data being transferred to and from the immediate access storage. That is, in other words, this register holds the contents of the memory which are to be transferred from memory to other components or vice versa. Let us go into detail about memory read operation. Memory read operation is retrieving a word from a particular memory location. The address of the memory location from where a word has to be read is loaded into memory address register, MAR. CPU issues a read signal to indicate that the word whose address is specified in MAR has to be read into MDR. The word is loaded by memory in MDR after some delay and can now be used by CPU. Now, now we will see why read operation. Efficient use of read operation can help to optimize the performance of a system. That means, while read operation are essential for retrieving previously stored data, we often overlook the impact that write operation can have on system efficiency and overall performance. Updating data in a memory is often faster than retrieving it from a disk or other storage medium. That means, when we update a memory such as RAM, it is typically faster than retrieving it from a disk or another storage medium. The stage conforms a connection to an external data source and inserts storage into a table. Imagine a stage where we configure a connection to an external data source and insert record into a table. This write operation allows us to update the system memory with the fresh data ensuring the most updated data information is readily available. Read operation reads previous stored data. In conclusion, we can say that the efficient use of a write operation is a fundamental aspect of optimizing system performance. By leveling the faster updated data capacity of a memory and employing optimization technology, we can minimize the data retrieving time. Now, now we will see steps in read operation place the address of the location to be read on a address bus active the memory read control signal on the control bus wait for the memory to retrieve the data from address memory location and place them on the data bus read the data from the data bus these are the steps in the read operation memory write operation First of all, let's know what is memory. 
Storing a word into a specified memory location is known as memory. Then, what is memory write operation? The transfer of new data to be saved into the memory is known as the memory write operation. Then, what is its work? Memory write operation transfers the address of the desired word to the address lines, transfers the data bits to be stored in memory to the data input lines. Then, it activates the write control lines. As you can see in this diagram, which is in the right side, in diagram, in left side, there is a MR that is address register. And in the right side, there is a MDR that is data register. First step is that in MAR, the address code passes through the address bus to the address decoder. Second step, in MDR, data bytes passes through the data bus to the byte organized memory array. In third step, write operation will be performed. Its other explanation is that address code 101 is placed on the address bus and address 5 is selected. The data bytes is placed on the data bus. Then write command causes the data bytes to be stored in address 5, replacing previous data. This image describes the write operation. In this image, the MR contains 2003 memory location and MDR contains 3D in the image of before execution. After the execution, write instruction will be written at 2003 memory location. Why write operation? Why we used write operation or why we performed it? There are some points. Efficient use of write operations can help to optimize the performance of a system. Updating data in a memory is often faster than retrieving it from a disk or other storage medium. The stage configures a connection to an external data source and insert record into a table. Write operation stores a new value in a memory. So we have seen storing new data is write operation. Now we will see the steps in write operation. Firstly, the word that is to be written into the memory is loaded by CPU in MDR. Then CPU loads the address of memory location where the word has to be stored. This address is stored in MAR. Finally, CPU gives a write signal to indicate that the word written in the MDR should be loaded at address present in MAR by the memory. This is the memory circuit. Here, low and high points of the MAR are connected with decoder. Decoder is used to select memory cells in randomly addressed memory devices. Now we will see the bus connectivity between CPU and memory main memory. MAR, the address bus, is the only way for the CPU to communicate with address bus. Therefore, the tri-state buffer between MAR and address bus prevents MAR from continuously dumping its output to address bus. MDR is connected to the data bus. Data can go in both directions to the memory and from the memory. MDR can load its data from two ways. First from database for reading data and the second way from CPU, CPU register for storing data. With this, we end our video. In this video, we have seen MAR, MDR, use of MAR, MDR in memory read operation and memory write operation and the memory circuit. Thanks for watching and do like, comment and share.